Hi everyone, it's Tara. So I am back to share with you what I've been working on. So in my last video, I shared these cute little shakers that I've been making using my envelope die and page protectors, as well as these shakers using some clear self-sealing bags. And I did mention that these were going on to a larger project. So this is what it is. And I'm calling these shaker swag bags because I just kind of like the name of that and who doesn't want to receive a little swag in the mail, right? So the idea behind creating these was I wanted to send a thank you card and also some goodies to friends and people that have sent me happy mail because um, a lot of times I don't have the time to film you know, me opening up happy mail, but I do appreciate it and I just want to send a little thank you. So that's why I started creating these and then I just started making a whole bunch. So. <laughs> let's just get started all right so i'll show you the sizes of the bags that i'm using so here's these and i get these from ac more and they come in all different sizes and as well as these and these come from michael's that's the size and then i made a few using these larger size bags and that's the size of those there and they Okay, so I'll show you the clear bags that I've been using um, to make the shakers, but by all means, you do not have to use this particular brand. Just use whatever you have, you know, access to and whatever is affordable for you. So this is the size that I'm using for these size bags. And then for the larger bags, I'm using this size. Okay, and then this size fits um, that Gina Marie scalp frame die perfectly and I believe I mentioned that on my last video okay so let's just get started here all right so this is basically a play on the paper bag card I've made several of these in the past um, but like I said I wanted to be able to send goodies and um, add a shaker so that's what I did this paper collection is from um, Craftsmith the hot buy and it's called Charleston picnic so that's what I um, used to create um, these two. There, if there's anything I miss, you guys, um, because I have a lot to show and I'm going to try to go through quickly. If there's any product that I use that you have any questions about, please feel free to ask and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So Charleston Picnic for this one, I used the coordinating washi tape. This die is from Lawn Fawn. Okay, so and then here's the back and this is where I'm going to write my message so all of them have tags on the back where like I said I'll write my message and here's just some die cuts washi the flaps I use some um, border punches so that is the first one and then the difference between this and a paper bag card like with the paper bag cards I seal the sides but obviously I want it to expand a little bit so I did not seal the side all right, and I'm going to just show you a few of the things I have in here. I am going to add more, you know, before I mail them out. So I just have some tags in this one and some rhinestones. Okay, so this one, again, like I said, same collection. Added some bling, some coordinating washi. Here's the back. This trim came from the Dollar Tree. And then here's the tag for this one. Okay, um, and then I have some more tags, and then I included, on a, on most of them, I think I included um, some of these shakers, like pre-made shakers, so that the recipient can pop this right onto a card, even if they don't have this particular paper collection. Um, it's easy to just get pink paper, or white paper, or whatever, and then put this right onto a card at a sticker sentiment, and I basically took all the work you know out of it for them so I thought that was a fun thing to include and then I also made some washi tape samples and on one of my AC more haul videos I shared these micro mini clipboards these are a dollar and you get two for a dollar and so what I did was I painted it added the washi tape and some bling and I thought they came out super cute I did add another clear bag um, just to protect the washi so it doesn't get hung up on anything and I did uh, cut off the flap before um, you know I just cut off the flap 
so and I'm not sure of the size of these bags two and a half by three maybe okay so that is that one okay next up I have this one and this is using using the die cuts with the view ocean breeze stack again same concept washi tape die um, die cut and my little shaker here's the back I stuck these tags in here for now I'm not sure if they're gonna stay um, and then I added this really pretty trim that I recently picked up from the Michaels $1.50 bin I love using this trim and they have a bunch of different colors so they're fun um, to use so that's what I added there and then on the inside of this one I have another little shaker for the recipient and um, some of these anchors and then some more bling so that is that one alright so with this one I'm using the or I use the uh, my mind's eye my story paper collection added some washi um, a sequin bow and then on the inside of this shaker I added this cute little butterfly and it's a charm and I spray painted it gold before I added it on the inside thought that came out cute and then most of them are all um, most of these are edged in that gold paint pen that you guys know I love to use you can pick this up at Walmart or any craft store so and I just edged the paper not the actual bag I edged the paper first before I adhere it to the bag Okay, so that's that one. Here is the back. More washi, cute little die cut. And then here's the tag. And then on the inside of this one, I just have a, a little shaker. Okay. This one is using the My Mind's Eye um, On Trend 2 collection. I just added some trim, um, a sticker from the collection. I punched out a Martha Stewart um, or a bow from the Martha Stewart punch, added some bling and some glitter washi down here at the bottom. Here's the back with the tag. And I don't think I have anything on the inside of this one. Oh, I have some bling for now. So that's that one. Next up, I use the blush um, collection by DCWV. And I picked this paper up at AC Moore. Um, added some washi, some trim. I created another little uh, bow. And then this happy wood piece is on the inside of the shaker. Um, and I spray painted that gold. And I picked these pieces up from AC, I'm um, not AC Moore, from AliExpress. And I'll leave a link down below. I mentioned this on one of my other videos, but I had to wait like a month to get these wood pieces. But I do love using them. Oops, sorry guys. So that's that one. Here is the back and the tag. And then in here I just added some uh, monogram charms. And I think I just have a few little tags in here. All right, next up I have three using the Echo Park um, Story, the Story of Fall collection. I picked this up last year. So here is this one. Pretty much the same concept on all of them. There's the tag. And I don't have anything in that one. And here's the next one. Again, I spray painted that happy uh, gold and added that on the inside some glitter washi or some glitter tape I should say here's the tag just added some stickers more bling and then this one here I love the way this one came out Oops. <laughs> so um, the pumpkin spice and everything nice came from the collection this glitter Pumpkin washi is from the Target dollar spot. Here's the back. 
the tag. Love that little fox, so cute. And then on the inside of this one, I have these tags, which I also got from the Target Dollar Spot. I just packaged three of them up. Um, another little shaker element that the recipient can use. And then I added this wooden wooden pumpkin that I got from Joann's. Okay, so that is, those are my fall swag bags. Next up I have Halloween. And I, everything in these are, I have uh, the same things. So this is using the Boo Paper Collection from Recollections. And honestly, I am not crazy about this paper. I started making these um, bags weeks ago and I was just itching to make something um, with a Halloween theme and that was the only paper available to me. Um, I did not buy any Halloween paper last year so I just picked this up but like I said I'm not crazy about it but I mean I think they still came out kind of cute. Alright so I just used the washi tape that coordinates with this collection. Also picked that up from Michaels. It comes in a tube, a sequin bow. Here's the back, the tag, and well, I'll show you what's on the other one, but all of them have these washi tape samples that I created, again, using those mini clipboards. Just wrap some of that washi around, and then the bat is from the Dollar Tree. And then here's this one. This uh, felt bat came from AC Moore, so that's how that one looks. Here's the back. This um, glitter trim came from, or glitter tape came from the Target Dollar Spot, and that's the tag. And so on the inside of this one, I'll pull this one out. All of them have the same things in them, so I added. Um, some sequin bows that coordinate with this collection, a wood piece from Joann's, a tag from the collection, and then these two tags from, again, the Target Dollar Spot. And then here's the washi sample. Just clips right onto there. All right, this is the last Halloween one using this paper collection. Same thing. Now the sequins they they do move, but once you remove everything, um, they move around better, I guess, because everything's kind of tight in there, and they're having a hard time moving around. But so I added this bow, and I cut the tails off of this one because I didn't want it to cover up where it said Happy Halloween. That is the back. Some more of that glitter tape from Target Dollar Spot. And that's the tag. And then here's the washi tape sample for this one. Really cute. Okay, so that is it for that size bag. And I made three using the larger bags. And since I just showed you Halloween, I'll show you this one. So this one is using um, the Die Cuts with a View Spooky Night paper collection. I picked this up from Joann's and this is definitely more my style. I love the bright colors, the purples and the greens. I just love it. So this one's a lot more fun to me. Um, these three stickers here came from AC Moore. Um, I did use some trim from Michaels. I actually layered two of them. So I used this one here and then layered this rickrack one on top. And purple. I just love the colors that they came out with this year. And so on the back here I have this little owl paper clip that I made using um, a felt piece from AC Moore. And I've showed you before um, how I make the paper clips using these from Dollar Tree. And then I just put some 
um, glitter on the back. It's actually distressed glitter, so it's not like super shiny. This comes from, this is um, Tim Holtz. So that's what I used for that to, because it is a sticker and I didn't want it sticking on everything. These are just some cutouts from the collection. And then this I, I thought was really, really cute. I was actually inspired by someone's video. They um, made some 3x3 three three note cards and they used some washi tape and gathered it up to make like a witch's dress and then stamped some feet and then added the feet. So I was totally inspired by that. Um, and I'll link that video down below so you guys can check it out. Um, I thought it was a really cute idea. So what I did was I used um, some cupcake liners instead of the washi tape from Dollar Tree and then this felt uh, this felt hat and the felt feet came from AC Moore and so this one I kinda like kicked the foot up so it kinda looked like she was like dancing or something I don't know <laughs> and then this glittery bat or glittery cat came from Dollar Tree so I thought that was really really cute the way it came out so that goes there and then on the inside of this one I only have a couple things for now so I included this sh um, this shaker so the recipient can just pop this right onto a card and it is ready to go and also this boo wooden piece that I got from Joann's okay next is this one and this is using the like a girl paper collection by photoplay and again I use that uh, Gina Marie dye and black and I cut it out with black uh, glitter paper the hello was also cut with that same paper this tape here is from Dollar Tree and then I just added some bling and some heart stickers from the collection I love the way this one came out it's super cute and then here is the back a little die cut piece this rhinestone trim also came from the Target dollar spot and I just added two cards to this one And then on the inside here, um, I was able to add a whole pack of bling, and then also another shaker for the person to use. So that is that one. I like this size bag because you can add a lot to this if you want to. Okay, and the last one is this one. And this is using the Echo Park Party Party Time paper collection. And again, I just love the bright colors of this. This was so much fun to make. Um, use the Gina Marie die. And I'll leave a link down below to where you can purchase that die if you're interested. It was only $10 and you get, um, I think, like four, four different dies, four different sizes of this die. It's really cool. So I just added some stickers from the collection. Again, I use some of that trim from Michaels. This is just so much fun. It's perfect for a birthday um, card or project. Just fun. Okay, here is the back. Again, more of that trim from Michaels. And this is um, a die cut piece from the collection. And then here's the tag. And I don't have anything on the inside yet. So that is it, you guys. That was a lot, right? Oh, my goodness. So as you can see, I've been super busy. I have been making a lot of stuff. Um, and oftentimes, I am creating things. I just don't have time to film videos the way I used to. So, But I am glad that I'm, I was able to at least get this one out and give you some ideas. Hopefully, I inspired you to make some of your own. If you do, I'd love to see them. Um, and yeah, so let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.